Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University. Today, I'm going to see just how fast this microfine gold settles through the pulp in the pan when I'm panning it. Because I do this a lot and I want to know how fast I can pan without getting a lot of losses. So let's see how this works. Now the first thing I'd like to comment on is you'll now see some of these pans with an L in them. I've been having some serious problems with cross-contamination. When you have pans like this, with that amount of gold in it, you just can't clean all of that out very easily at all. So, when I'm panning concentrates and then panning tailings, uh, the, the little residual gold from the concentrates can just totally screw up my tailings pan. So now I have separate pans for high grade and low grade. Now this material here is some concentrates out of the concentrator. That is my standard sample size. So what I'm going to do is just pan it. I've got fluidization here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Now I'm letting the pulp settle. And I will let it drain just a little bit. So, using the Paleolithic MRI, You can see back here there's a little bit of heavy showing up. There's about the top third. Actually a little more than that. There's maybe the next third. And here's the last third. So let's pan these out and see just how fast the gold settled to the bottom. Okay, and there's your final pan. So, we now have our results. Basically took the pan with the material that was consistent, I mean it was just all jumbled up, Threw it in there, agitated for what? I think it was 20 seconds. Scrape the top off. And here's the result. There's a little haze of fine gold up here. This is maybe one to two thousandths of an inch stuff less than 100 microns. That would be the top layer. Roughly a third, but not really precisely. This is the intermediate layer. As you can see, now you can actually start seeing a reasonable amount of gold in it. It's also got some bigger particles. There's some I, many I can see here I can detect an individual particle with my naked eye at this distance. So we're, we're talking in the five to ten thousandths range. And here is the bottom third. You can see 
there's a huge amount of gold here compared to either of the other two. So like 90% of the gold made it to the bottom third of the pan in about 20 seconds. It's not that hard to get the microfine gold to settle. The tricky part is getting it to separate. Now this is also why I have to use separate pans. Even if I got 95% of this material out of the pan with a fairly thorough washing, that other 5% is going to totally screw up the test on tailings. I mean, tailings I'm getting, you know, zero to five specks of gold per cup of, you know, measuring cup of tailings. And this is, you know, that means I have to get like 99% cleaning. That just takes a lot of effort. Best to just go separate pans to avoid the cross-contamination. And if that was a standard cup, Oh, that's, I don't know how many ounces to the ton. I'm guessing three to five ounces to the ton there, but it is concentrates. That's what you would expect, or at least one would hope. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.